Hi, Brett here, course creator at Free Diploma Training. One of the questions that I get asked most is how can we use the internship and working for free to get a job? Most people get that when you're working as a contractor, testimonials and those sort of things will help you get more work. But what about employment opportunities? Well, this is where it comes down to, you're not actually lying and saying that you've got the experience, you're saying just saying at this stage that you've got an interest in it. Employers know that if you have an interest in something, you're gonna learn and they're looking for people that are trainable. So it's kind of like putting yourself in the picture. It's like wearing the company brand colors when you turn up for an interview, like this. Okay, so how do you look at getting the interview is the next question. Well, when you look at the job ads, you'll see that what they do is they list basically the essential skills are usually at the top. This is what everyone needs to, that gets an interview. They need to do these things. Then they'll list the desirable skills. Now what the desirable skills are, that is what their best employees do. So that's what you need to do the job well. And then you've got, it'll say other skills or interests or things like that. And this could be, they're looking for how well do you work as a team? How, how well are you gonna fit into the team? Do you have other interests outside of work? Because what's gonna happen is when you're working with people, they're gonna start having conversations about things. They're looking at, working with people that they know, like, and trust. It's the same as networking. You meet people from different departments and they want to help you, they want to train you, they'll give you information, they're happy to give you information. When you're in business, first of all, they need to trust you. So once they trust you, they'll get to know you and then they'll decide whether or not that they like you. Being a little bit vulnerable and going, look, you know, I'm not going to interrupt your work, but if you're trainable and you're happy to observe and you're interested, and they're gonna have a conversation because sometimes you're dealing with people that have a lot of passion. Like for example, I've got, uh, uh, uh. see, it's not just, not just kids that do it too. I've just had a cat climbing up my leg. He's just coming in to see what's happening. So everyone, say hello to Sugar Bowl. What businesses are looking for is things like personality. Now, do you wanna get down? Okay, cats can't speak English, but they can still tell you what they want. And it's the same with your mannerisms and things like that. If you show interest in other people, they'll pick up on that and they'll see that you're telling the stories and everything else. Then they're happy to go through and train you because they know that you're willing to listen to them. Okay, and that's what's gonna get you into a business, get you learning new skills. People are gonna volunteer stuff to you because you know, generally there's a lot of people that wanna help in business, it's just that how, does it, how do you fit that into their workplace? If you're looking to get help from someone, don't make them go out of their way to help. Sit there and observe so that when you're coming through, you're seeing what's happening, you don't interrupt them. Don't start asking them all these questions and things like that. One of the best workplace training methods that I've seen is basically when they sit down and they go through and they go, okay, first of all, I'll show you. Then we'll do it together step by step. Then you show me. And generally when you go through that process in a workplace, People tend to pick it up and they can go away and practice them from so, and then they can come back. What you can then do is if they get too busy, you can come and help them and you just slot in because you know what, you already know what they do. So that's where you can add value to the organization. So when in an interview they ask you, how can you add value to an organization? So what they wanna know is how can they make money out of what you do? How can you add value to the organization? I can jump in and help out people in a lot of different areas because I've got these skills that I've learned through my social media intern. So I know how to get along with people, but I also know how to find out what the customers want, but also to what people want done. If they see you have an interest in something, that's worth value to an organization. Best way to learn, get out there and have a go. Don't be afraid to fail. In fact, expect to fail. Because when you do fail, you'll find that there'll be people coming out of the woodwork to say, you know what you should do next time, okay? And they'll give you the tips on how to improve, okay? But you can't improve something that doesn't exist, so you need to get out there and just have a go at it.